The movie King Kong portrays a gigantic ape living on a mysterious island. But would you believe it if I told you that a giant primate like King Kong once lived among our distant relatives? This episode is about Gigantopithecus, the largest primate to ever walk the Earth. Now, shall we meet the King Kong of Earth's history? It is the early 20th century. German paleontologist Gustav von Koningswald was browsing through a pharmacy in Hong Kong when he discovered a bone that was being sold as medicine. At the time, it was being sold as the bone of a dragon, a mythical creature. But in von Koningswald's eyes, it looked a bit more like the tooth of an ape. What was surprising, however, was that the tooth was larger than that of any other apes known at the time. Von Koningswald named this new species of ape Gigantopithecus blackii and published his findings in a newspaper in 1952. Following the paper's publication, more fossilized Gigantopithecus teeth were discovered, and based on these fossils, paleoanthropologists began estimating Gigantopithecus's size. The results were truly astonishing. Gigantopithecus weighed 270 kilograms and was 2.7 meters tall. That is 1.5 times the size of a male gorilla, the largest primate alive. In particular, the males were much larger than the females. Does that not conjure an image of the monstrous King Kong? But why were Gigantopithecus males so large? A simple hypothesis we could consider is intrasexual competition. Evolutionary pressure pushed the males, which were fewer in number, to compete for dominance of the females, causing their bodies to grow larger in the process. In fact, the more intense the competition for the females, the larger the males' bodies tended to become. In scientific terms, we call this sexual dimorphism. However, UC Riverside paleoanthropologist Dr. Lee Sang-hee suggested that competition between males was not the root cause of Gigantopithecus' growth. The evidence? Gigantopithecus's canines. Usually male canines grow larger when there is a lot of competition between males, but Dr. Lee Sang-hee discovered that Gigantopithecus's canines were disproportionately small when compared to their immense size. From this, she could infer that Gigantopithecus males had not competed with one another very fiercely. Then what was the real reason Gigantopithecus males grew to be so large? A scientifically plausible answer is predators. Because being large gave them an advantage when chasing away predators. And if that is the case, then that begs the question. What kind of predator threatened Gigantopithecus to make it grow so big? Dr. Lee Sung-hee and some other paleoanthropologists pointed at humans as being the culprit. Gigantopithecus lived in southern China from about 1.2 million to 300,000 years ago. This is when our ancestor Homo erectus was spreading throughout eastern China. Anthropologists speculate that there was fierce competition between the two, and this competition may have driven Gigantopithecus into extinction. Gigantopithecus, who lived in bamboo forests at the time, competed for food with pandas. But when Homo erectus came into the picture, Gigantopithecus gradually lost its habitat. But how come Gigantopithecus was driven into extinction if bamboo was a main staple of the panda's diet, but not of Homo erectus? Some paleoanthropologists have suggested that Homo erectus chopped down bamboo forests to make tools which destroyed the habitat of Gigantopithecus and eventually led to their distinction. Of course, this is still just a hypothesis. Also, the Chibanian period, formerly known as the Middle Pleistocene, which was when Gigantopithecus lived, was an increasingly dry and cold environment, so food must have been scarce. In the end, habitat loss due to the threat of humans as well as food scarcity and environmental changes may have led to the disappearance of the largest primate in Earth's history. However, I hope that Gigantopithecus' story, unlike King Kong's, will not end as just another interesting tale. Does not the situation of today's orangutans and gorillas look similar to that of Gigantopithecus 300,000 years ago? Environmental damage caused by humans is slowly destroying the habitats of thousands of orangutans and gorillas. To them, humans are terrifying enemies, just like we may have been to Gigantopithecus. This is Science Dream, science with a sprinkle of fun. If you found this video educational and entertaining, please like and subscribe, it means a lot.